Imagine a place where luxury meets innovation. Picture a man-made island, shaped like a palm tree, stretching out into the azure waters of the Persian Gulf. This is Palm Jumeirah, a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. Located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, this archipelago isn't just an island, it's a statement. Palm Jumeirah is one of three artificial islands collectively known as the Palm Islands. The others, Palm Jebel Ali and Palm Dira, are equally ambitious projects. But Palm Jumeirah was the first, a bold experiment that captured the world's imagination. It redefined what's possible in engineering and large-scale construction. From space, the Palm's iconic shape is unmistakable. A crescent-shaped barrier encloses a network of fronds, resembling a stylized palm tree. This design isn't just for aesthetics, it maximizes the available waterfront, a precious commodity in a city surrounded by desert. Before a single grain of sand was moved, Palm Jumeirah existed only as an idea. A grand vision took shape in the minds of architects and engineers. They envisioned a luxurious retreat that would redefine waterfront living. The concept was simple yet audacious, to create an artificial island shaped like a palm tree. The palm tree shape, a symbol of life and prosperity in the Middle East, held cultural significance. It also provided the maximum possible coastline for residential development, a key objective of the project. The crescent-shaped barrier acted as a natural breakwater, protecting the island from the open sea. Creating such a complex shape in the open sea presented unprecedented challenges. Satellite-guided dredging and GPS-controlled vibro-compaction were crucial to the project's success. These techniques, combined with the ingenuity of the engineers, made the impossible dream of Palm Jumeirah a tangible reality. Building an island in the open sea is akin to constructing a castle on a cloud. The first challenge was to create a stable foundation in the shifting sands of the Persian Gulf. Engineers had to find a way to make the seabed strong enough to support the immense weight of the island. The process began with dredging. Massive dredgers scooped up millions of cubic meters of sand from the seabed. This dredged material, carefully analyzed for its suitability, would form the foundation of Palm Jumeirah. To compact the sand and create a solid base, engineers employed a technique called vibro-compaction. This involved using giant vibrating probes to densify the sand. Building the crescent-shaped breakwater, Palm Jumeirah's first line of defense against the sea was a monumental task. With the foundation and breakwater in place, attention turned to creating the iconic fronds of Palm Jumeirah. These slender stretches of land, extending from the central trunk, would house luxury villas, resorts, and entertainment venues. Building these fronds presented a unique set of challenges. The fronds, unlike the crescent, were built entirely of sand. Engineers relied heavily on vibroflotation, a technique that uses vibrations to densify loose soil. This process created a stable base for the fronds, preventing them from sinking or eroding away. To further strengthen the fronds, a layer of geotextile fabric was placed over the compacted sand. On top of the geotextile, a final layer of rock and armor stones provided additional protection from the sea. The creation of Palm Jumeirah's fronds showcased the power of precision engineering on a massive scale. A global effort sourcing materials for a mega project. The sheer scale of Palm Jumeirah demanded an astronomical amount of building materials. Sourcing and transporting these materials was a logistical feat in itself involving a global network of suppliers and contractors. Millions of tons of rock, primarily limestone and sandstone, were needed for the breakwater and the base of the fronds. These rocks were quarried from various locations in the United Arab Emirates and Oman. The quarrying process itself was a massive undertaking, requiring heavy machinery and skilled labor. Sand, the primary building block of Palm Jumeirah, came from the seabed surrounding the island. The construction of Palm Jumeirah relied on the expertise of engineers, architects, and laborers from around the world. This global collaboration brought together a diverse range of skills and knowledge essential for tackling the project's unprecedented challenges. Overcoming nature's fury, battling tides and erosion, building an island in the open sea is a constant battle against the forces of nature. The engineers behind Palm Jumeirah faced numerous challenges, from powerful tides and currents to the constant threat of erosion. 
Overcoming these challenges required innovative solutions and a deep understanding of marine environments. One of the biggest concerns was the impact of tides and currents on the newly created landmass. The engineers conducted extensive studies to model the flow of water around the island. This data was used to optimize the shape of the breakwater and the fronds, minimizing erosion and ensuring the stability of the island. The breakwater, acting as a giant seawall, absorbed the brunt of the wave's energy. Regular monitoring and maintenance are crucial to ensure the long-term stability of Palm Jumeirah. The battle against nature is ongoing, requiring vigilance and continuous adaptation. A delicate balance. Environmental considerations and mitigation. Creating an artificial island the size of Palm Jumeirah inevitably raises environmental concerns. The project's developers were aware of these concerns from the outset and implemented various measures to mitigate the environmental impact. These efforts focused on preserving marine life, minimizing pollution, and promoting sustainability. One of the main concerns was the impact of dredging on marine ecosystems. To minimize this impact, the engineers used directional dredging techniques, which reduced the spread of sediment plumes. They also monitored water quality closely and implemented mitigation measures when necessary. The creation of Palm Jumeirah also affected wave patterns and currents in the area. The developers of Palm Jumeirah also implemented several sustainability measures. The island was designed to encourage the use of public transportation, reducing reliance on cars and minimizing air pollution. A triumph of engineering, Palm Jumeirah takes shape. After years of planning, dredging, and construction, Palm Jumeirah began to emerge from the sea. The once empty expanse of water slowly transformed into an archipelago of interconnected islands. The iconic palm tree shape, visible from miles away, became a symbol of Dubai's ambition and engineering prowess. The completion of the breakwater marked a major milestone in the project. This massive structure, made of millions of tons of rock, successfully tamed the waves of the Persian Gulf, creating a calm basin for the fronds to be built. As the fronds took shape, the true scale of Palm Jumeirah became apparent. Each frond, stretching for miles, was a marvel of engineering built entirely of sand and reinforced with geotextile and rock. The final stages of the project involved landscaping, infrastructure development, and the construction of residential and commercial buildings. A new dawn for Dubai. Economic and tourism boom. Palm Jumeirah's completion heralded a new era for Dubai. The island became a global icon, attracting tourists, investors, and residents from around the world. It solidified Dubai's position as a leading tourism destination and a hub for real estate and business. The island's luxurious residences, ranging from waterfront villas to high-rise apartments, attracted affluent buyers. Palm Jumeirah became synonymous with opulence and exclusivity, drawing in celebrities, entrepreneurs, and investors seeking a slice of paradise. The real estate boom fueled by Palm Jumeirah boosted Dubai's economy significantly. Tourism played a key role in Palm Jumeirah's success. The island's unique shape, stunning views, and world-class amenities made it a must-visit destination. The influx of tourists created jobs and stimulated economic growth in Dubai. A legacy of ambition. Palm Jumeirah's enduring impact. Palm Jumeirah stands as a testament to human ambition, engineering ingenuity, and the transformative power of bold visions. It redefined the concept of waterfront living, pushed the boundaries of construction, and left an indelible mark on Dubai's landscape and economy. Its legacy extends beyond its iconic shape and luxurious amenities. The project inspired a new wave of ambitious mega-projects in Dubai and around the world. It demonstrated that seemingly impossible feats of engineering are achievable with vision, determination, and cutting-edge technology. Palm Jumeirah became a benchmark for large-scale land reclamation and artificial island development. Beyond its economic impact, Palm Jumeirah serves as a reminder of the boundless potential of human creativity and innovation. The lessons learned from Palm Jumeirah continue to inform and inspire engineers and architects around the world. As Dubai looks to the future, Palm Jumeirah remains a shining example of its ambition, resilience, and unwavering pursuit of innovation.